Hey, hey, Warrior Saints, Father Chris here. Today I'm so on fire, I'm so angry. I don't think I've been this angry in a long time. I'm standing here inside the Legacy Ballroom. This is the ballroom that our church has that we rent out to people to use for private events, family events, weddings, engagements, whatever social activity they may want, Christmas parties, all those great things. It's a great thing and they're doing a wonderful job. This past weekend we had an event and the renter did something that was so infuriating to me. They had rented the space for their wedding reception. And on the day of the event, in the morning, they came to my team and said, hey, you know, you've got some signs, some religious symbols there, and we'd like to cover them up. And my team did what was right, and they said, well, I don't think we can do that. Um, but the, the, the renter said, my grandmother has dementia, and the sight of religious symbols sets her off, and we don't want her to set it off. And so she was referring to this sign here. You can see it. There's a cross in that symbol. And so she threatened my team and said, if you don't take that sign down or allow us to cover it, we're gonna slam you in social media. And she starts crying, you're gonna ruin my day and so on. Now, what I certainly don't wanna do is ever ruin someone's event. I don't wanna ruin someone's wedding. That's the most beautiful day in your life eclipsed only by the birth of children. But you know what? That sign was up when she came here to tour the place. Those signs were up when she signed the contract. Nothing changed from the moment that she signed the contract until the day of the event. The only thing that changed was that for whatever reason, she wanted to cover the sign. Now, I may be dumb, but I ain't stupid. Grandmothers with dementia who are triggered by crosses, it seems pretty far-fetched to me. Maybe it's true, but it still seems pretty far-fetched to me. All of that to say, I'm so devastated because the person on my team in fear, not really knowing how to deal with it, acquiesced to that decision. And without any of us knowing, allowed the sign to be covered. It was just for the event and it went over smoothly. And I, you know, I hope that that person had a good wedding and a good wedding reception. But man, this kind of assault, it makes my blood boil because you know what? It's not just an assault that we're facing here at the Legacy Ballroom and in our church. It's an assault that is happening all over the place. Time and again, people are assaulting what what we believe our morals, our values, our systems. They're assaulting Christianity. They're assaulting men. They are, it's a constant bombardment. And I'm not usually one who's a naysayer, who's a whiny, oh, it's so terrible. I mean, life is great, but man, this assault is never ending. And that's why the way of the warrior saint is so, so important because we have to be able to stand up and to defend against those assaults. We have to be able to look those kinds of attacks and say, look, we don't wanna prohibit you from uh, having a wedding. We don't wanna prohibit you from your own beliefs, but we have ours and we're tired of you trampling on them. We have ours and we're tired of you telling us to take them down. We have ours and we're tired of you saying, cover them up. And that's what the Way of the Warrior Saint Weekly does. It's a weekly program that we offer to help us become strong Christian men, to stand up to those kinds of things so that we can become better men inside, so that we might be better men outside, so that we might be confident, courageous, fearless, ferocious to stand up to that kind of silliness and to stand for what we believe to be true and what we believe to be right. It doesn't mean at the expense of others. It doesn't mean at the expense of others' thoughts, beliefs, opinions, desires. But it does mean that ours are sacred to us and we will defend them. And for far too long, too many people have not defended what they thought and believed. Well, with the Warrior Saint movement, that ends. Today, I want you to join the Way of the Warrior Saint movement. Click the link below and subscribe to the Way of the Warrior Saint Weekly, and you will get unlimited access to our massive, massive online video library. And in this library are lessons coaching us how to be strong Christian men, how to face all that stuff that we, we see and face in the world. And by living a crucifixional life, meaning the sacrifice of self for the sake of other, for the sake of success, we find that we can become warriors and saints. Click the link below. Subscribe to the Way of the Warrior Saint Weekly. It's going to cost you less than three fancy lattes a month. Come on, man. Your success is worth more than three lattes. It is too important. Your life matters too much for you to wallow in mediocrity and allow a continual bombardment of who you are and what you believe. So I want you to subscribe below. Do it right now, and I'll see you on the Way of the Warrior Saint.